<laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Greg Ferenstein. I'm the policy writer for TechCrunch, and I'm very excited to, to make two announcements on some things that we think will bring innovation to the democratic process. First, TechCrunch will be the media partner on a new multi-organizational $165,000 Knight Foundation grant to bring something called deliberative polling to the media industry. And secondly, a new form of di online direct democracy is coming to the city of San Francisco, participatory budgeting. First, a bit of background. When TechCrunch decided to do tech policy, it was the belief that tech policy is more than just immigration reform and net neutrality. It's about bringing the principles of Silicon Valley innovation to the democratic process. Decentralization, transparency, and most importantly, expert crowdsourcing. So when we soft launched our government channel, CrunchGov, last spring, we had one tool, Project Madison, a crowdsourcing legislative tool that allowed our readers to make specific line-by-line -line suggestions to pending legislation in Congress. We then worked with staffers in Congress to put up the bills online and make sure that everyone, including the staffers, were aware of really good suggestions that our readers and other experts gave. Now, we have two more tools that we're going to announce. Deliberative polling. Deliberative polling is a process by which we take, we try to see what a population would think about a particular topic if it were educated. So you take a random selection of the population and you pay them to become intensely educated and you record the before and after. Public opinion polling is incredibly important for media organizations in a representative democracy, but as we all know, people don't always know the issues very well, especially on something as complicated as technology policy. So together with business consulting firm Reframeit and consultants from Stanford, we're going to bring this innovative type of polling hopefully to the media industry and definitely for tech policy. The second, pro the second announcement we have to make, oh, sorry. Uh, we hope to have the first results of deliberative polling on two topic issues, immigration reform and national security agency spying in the next couple of months. We have more details in a blog post we put up online and Bobby Fishkin from Reframeit will be able to answer any questions the press may have about the announcement. Now. The second announcement, participatory budgeting. Participatory budgeting is a process by which citizens can vote directly on items in the budgetary process, just like they would on a normal ballot proposition. Uh, and for more, uh, for more details on that, I'd like to invite Supervisor David Chu, who helped spearhead this initiative uh, with Ron Conway's SF City and Mayor Ed Lee. Thank you, Mr. Chu. Thank you, Greg. Good morning. First of all, on behalf of the city and county of San Francisco, I want to welcome you here. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here. Before I was an elected official for nine years, I was one of you. I was an entrepreneur and chief operating officer of a technology company located here in San Francisco. You may think that government and innovation don't fit together. And five years ago, when I was elected to City Hall, I might have agreed with you. But in the last five years, we've made tremendous strides. I think many of you know in our city, we have changed our tax policies to keep companies like Twitter and Zynga and really help the growth of the innovative economy here in San Francisco to really be a twin with what's going on in Silicon Valley. We've also opened up hundreds of data sets to folks here in this room through hackathons to help us as a city government better manage. And I'm excited. I recently proposed that San Francisco expand our underground fiber network so that hopefully someday we will have a true 21st century IT infrastructure. But I want to take a moment and talk about a new idea that I'm very excited about called participatory budgeting. Many of you know that typically budgets are determined in back rooms by politicians sitting around trying to figure out how to spend the people's money. Here in San Francisco, we have a $7 billion budget. And I've wondered, along with tech friends, is there a different way in which we can do this? Well, a number of years ago, in a city in Brazil, a couple of policymakers thought about this idea that's referred to as PB, participatory budgeting. The idea is if all of you are members of our city, we would ask you for the best ideas and how we should spend our money, our budget. We would debate those ideas in an open forum, and we would actually vote on those ideas. That's the basic 
kernel of what participatory budgeting is about. Today, there are hundreds of cities around the world that have adopted this, but in the United States, the adoption of PB has been quite slow. And in the last couple of years, a couple of colleagues of mine in the New York City Council in Chicago have experimented with this. Last year, for the first time, I proposed in my district in the northeast part of San Francisco, we spend a small amount of money, $100,000, which we opened up. And the civic engagement was amazing. We had hundreds of residents that came out to propose dozens of ideas for us, and we voted on them. And the top eight ideas got funded. And it was so positive that for next year, our mayor and my colleagues at our local city council, we are going to be devoting more of our budget to this. Now, here's the problem. When we did it last year, we met in person, we debated it in person, and we counted the ballots and people cast ballots on paper. All of you in this room know there are better ways to do this. There are technology tools that we can use to accept ideas. There are online forums we can use to debate these ideas. And certainly, along with deliberative polling, there are better ways in which we can actually tabulate the results. And that is what we're talking about. We're talking about moving forward for the first time in San Francisco, hopefully with a partnership of folks in this room and city government with real digital participation. That is the ultimate goal. From my perspective, I hope at some point we won't need the elected officials sitting in back rooms. It will be all of you and the residents of every city in the United States coming together. Now, we have challenges trying to figure this out. For example, everyone knows digital inclusion is still an issue. If you are from a low-income neighborhood, if you are a recent immigrant, if you don't have access to a computer, how do we figure this out? Those are the types of issues that we're working on right now. But with your help, with the innovation I know that's in this room, I'm very hopeful that San Francisco will be putting our mark on what digital participation is really about. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Greg. That's the end of the announcement. We have more details online, and we're here if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Thank you.